Keysight's InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscopes offer a broad range of power-related measurements with the power measurements option. This video is part of a series of several short videos on specific power supply related measurements. Here we show a simplified schematic of a switch mode power supply along with a list of measurements that can be performed to fully test and characterize it. In this video demonstration, we'll focus on performing modulation analysis of this power switching device, which is highlighted in green here. For our demonstration, we'll be using Keysight's Switch Mode Power Supply Demo Board. This is the same DUT that we use in many of our hands-on workshops around the world. The first task in making a modulation analysis measurement is to probe the gate terminal of our switching device. The gate pin is not normally accessible on this particular demo board, so I have removed the protective clamshell cover so that I can directly probe the gate terminal with a standard 10 to 1 passive probe. Let's start making measurements. I'll begin by pressing default setup. Then I'll bring up the analyze menu, which there's actually a front panel direct access key and then select the power application. Under analysis you can see a list of all the specific power supply measurements that are available on this scope if it has the power option. And we also have videos on all these. But what we're going to show right now is modulation analysis. Next I'll select which specific modulation analysis we want to do and in this case I want to run modulation analysis on duty cycle since my switcher is a duty cycle based uh, switching power supply. Let's go into signals. Here you can see a diagram it gives you some helpful hints on how to connect your probes. This uh, diagram actually shows a current probe connected and then the, uh, the voltage probe connected to the gate of our transistor. That's where everything is being modulated to regulate the voltage. I don't have a current probe connected. Uh, I don't care about doing modulation analysis on the current. I only have a voltage probe from channel 1 connected to the gate. So at this point we're going to select Auto Setup. The scope will automatically set up the time base and the vertical for optimum scaling. And this is our gate signal. Let's zoom in and take a look at it a little bit. In the background there you can see the uh, channel 2 which is the current waveform. Nothing's connected so just ignore that. And so here you can see the duty cycle of switching and you can see some modulation going on here but if we back back off you know what does characteristic does that modulation have on on our gate signal and so what we can do is run modulation analysis and find out to perform a modulation analysis of the duty cycle simply press apply and it turns on a waveform map function in this case it's called the measurement trend this is a plot of duty cycle on the vertical axis versus time on the horizontal axis and it also measures the maximum duty cycle 23.7 percent and the minimum about 20.3 or 20.4 percent Now the plot of the duty cycle is not synchronous with the um, gate signal. It looks asynchronous. So let's press stop to freeze everything on screen. And here we can see we have an approximate sinusoidal modulation. Uh, so here's our max uh, duty cycle 23.8 and our min is probably down here about 20%. So what is the frequency of this modulation? Well there's a couple ways I could do it. The easiest is uh, to probably bring up the, the cursors, put it in a manual mode. Now I'm just going to position the cursors to measure approximately one period. And we have uh, 1 over delta T, about 1.4 kilohertz. So perhaps something is coupling in to the output, going back in through the feedback path, and then modulating uh, our regulation uh, with about a 1.4 kilohertz modulation rate. As mentioned at the beginning of this demonstration, this short video was part of a series of several short videos 
on specific power supply related measurements. To learn more about InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscopes and how they can help you test and debug your power supplies, contact your local Keysight authorized distributor and ask for a demonstration. Thank you.